And kicked by a Metro police officer now is suing the city of Indianapolis and also IMPD. 13 News has now obtained that lawsuit and in it the claim is made of excessive use of force. This arrest took place back in September of 2021 on Monument Circle and tonight the man involved Jermaine Vaughn is not talking. But Marion County reporter Lauren Costick did sit down with his attorney. So Lauren what is he saying? Scott and he tells me he is ready to take on this case. I also spoke and messaged with Jermaine Vaughn's sister. She says it's been difficult to contact him, but she says she is happy to see another push for justice for her older brother. They have went too far. This has hit home. 13 News spoke with Jermaine Vaughn's sister back in 2021. This one is mine and I will not stop. More than a year later, her family is still fighting for justice. Now with a lawsuit against IMPD, city leaders and the three officers who responded to the incident, claiming excessive force and gross negligence. It's a lawsuit to address what my client believes to be unfair treatment. I think it's a demonstration of excessive force. Robert Turner is representing Jermaine Vaughn. I thought it was wrong. It was unnecessary. It was unprovoked. It was illegal. Court documents claim the officers forcibly pinned Vaughn to the ground before Sergeant Eric Huxley used unlawful force and stomped on his face. Police were initially called to the circle for disorderly conduct. At the time, Vaughn was experiencing homelessness, and his family says he suffers from paranoid schizophrenia. I'm not going to do the jury's job. I'll, I'll let them determine what the motivator was. I think most people that saw it know that it was wrong. Sergeant Huxley is facing charges in local and federal court. He was suspended from IMPD and Chief Taylor has recommended that he be fired. This complaint is just one of several lawsuits against the city and IMPD. Last week, a tort claim was filed by Anthony Macklin, who was shot by officers while in his car. Also, the family of Herman Whitfield III filed a federal lawsuit last year. I don't want to provoke any hostility, but we do want to provoke change. And this case and many others have highlighted the need for more mental health resources across Marion County. Last September, the city announced a clinician led response team that would respond to nonviolent mental health calls 24 seven. And Scott and Ann, we are expecting an update about that team. I'm told by the end of the month.